Previously on Car Trek. I took a look at the pin that Auto Tempest dropped. Any ideas as to where it could be? Is it where they launched the main rockets to prove that the Earth is flat? You will now be directed to the most punishing car environment imaginable, quarter mile drag strip. Go! to you there is a full road course so now what we have to do is just take them on a lap auto tempest also told us that we'd be doing a one take review on these cars it's lighter than you think but when that hammer comes down man you better watch out tomorrow morning you will depart for a dynamometer test and we will find out what percentage of the horsepower your cars began life with is still in there Auto Tempest has brought us to Horsepower Logic for a dyno test of our cars to see how many horses have escaped over the years from our engines. As we drove here this morning, it had a little issue. I will confess that my car seems not to have appreciated its testing yesterday. I would assume that as it explored Adele's prospect of rolling in the deep of Santa Monica mudslides, it thought it would no longer be driven in such anger. <laughs> had a tremendous blast yesterday and honestly at that time it did quite well but when I got in the car this morning to head this way a couple miles into the drive it gave me a four-wheel drive error which I was eventually able to get to clear through the gauge cluster test check button but a couple more miles in it started to flash and had a red error and was beeping very very loudly so it was quite angry I pulled over to see a, a non-insignificant amount of fluid dripping from the front differential. It was driving okay, I think, or that I need to maybe tighten the gas cap? That's exactly what it could be. Um, actually, it could be three things. Uh, number one is just a fluid flush and fill. Uh, number two is a complete dismantling of the front differential and basically we make it rear wheel drive. Or number three, we just uh, get a new car. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that idea. I, I kind of like that idea. I'm growing to like this thing. Okay. All right, well, I'll pull it in and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I mean, good luck to you. Thank you. Good thing we have a Lambo mechanic. While Ed's Aqua Lambo was lifted into the air to show once again why buying a flood car is a terrible idea, I decided to get this dino party started. All right, Freddie, so how are we going to Quantify this, how is all this going to work? Well, basically you strap your Camry onto the dyno <laughs> and you make 100 horsepower. Seriously, what, how are we measuring this? How, how is this going to be a pass? So the way a dyno works is it measures horsepower at the rear wheels. This is not gonna be the same number as what you'd get in the crank horsepower or the BHP that a magazine or manufacturer would give you. So there's a factor called drivetrain loss. And that drivetrain is basically your transmission, your axles, and everything, the tires, all that stuff, that actually loses horsepower from the engine. So in this car, you'd probably get somewhere between 15 and 25% of that horsepower lost. And that's gonna translate into a lower number that you're gonna be looking for. So what you're saying is that we basically have to handicap it from the manufacturer's estimate to get our benchmark to which we will seek to find the highest percentage possible of those horsepowers. Yeah, yeah, so with this car, it was making how much horsepower? 400. Many, many, many moons ago. <laughs> it's very healthy, it's only 30,000 miles. Uh-huh, 
Yeah, so what we're looking for is a 15% drivetrain loss. I think it'll do that easily. Easily. I don't, it's I, a very healthy engine. Freddie, what are some factors that would cause drivetrain loss over time as an engine or a car ages? Well, a few things. Number one could be the engine is just worn out. The piston rings aren't as tight as they used to be. Uh, the engine just has too many hard-driven miles on it. Maybe some seals wear out. Maybe some bad gas. Maybe some dirty uh, injectors. Lots of things that would make this engine not run as efficiently as it should. What about exhaust leaks? Exhaust leaks would definitely make the engine not run as it should. Is as the day went yesterday, my exhaust got louder and tickier and rattlier. Yes! 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 Well, it's gonna be interesting, let's just say that. I think it'll be fine, really. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Prepare for magnificence, gentlemen. I'm gonna stand far back, really, really far. Let her rip, yeah. It'll be fine. Good luck. Okay, I've never done an all-wheel drive dyno before where you actually have to steer. So please, all right, first, please don't blow up. Second. Third. Fourth is the gear, we're going to the pole. All right, we're in fourth. Please don't blow up. I'm hitting it. My mighty Ferrari made a glorious noise and managed not to explode, but it made a less than glorious 306 horsepower. I wasn't worried though, because I have a secret weapon. This is a fob for my exhaust. It is a valve exhaust, and when I open up these valves with this button here, I basically have an open exhaust, which should give me a lot more power than stock. A lot more power. My secret weapon. Fourth gear, we're doing our pull. I'm in it, and I'm flooring it. Come on, five horsepower. That felt, that felt strong. That felt good. It sounded good. Yes. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, uh, how are things going here? Well, this guy owes five hundred thousand dollars in taxes on his salvage title Carrera GT. It doesn't run or hasn't in two years. But I feel like I can get him to chip in and probably get it to something maybe reasonable. Well, I mean, so you're shrewdly negotiating instead of paying attention and helping Freddie fix your car. Freddie's got that covered. So what is really going on then? Uh, well, uh, a lot. So this car has a front differential, and that differential is usually filled with fluid. This one was not. It was full of water. So <laughs> that doesn't bode well. Um, How bad is that based on what we did to it last night? Not great, uh, but we took out all the water and replaced it with fluid. So that's good. So now it should work, save for a few things that are a little bit concerning in the back before you put it on the dyno. Well, I put on some more tape, so I think the diffuser's good now, but good. I did happen to notice that it was all mucky from the coolant continuing to leak. Yes. So I'll get it off the lift, top that off, mm -hmm. and I think now that means it's time for you to strap onto this bad boy and show us what it's made of. Right, except for the fact that uh, I think you're a, little, you're a little scared. I'm scared a lot. Uh, it okay. doesn't go places well right now. I'm right. not even sure it's gonna make it up the ramp, but. Okay, 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 you know what? You know what, to make you feel better, I will go first and I will show you two what real power looks like, okay? You're gonna see. Good luck. Both of you. It'll all be gone. Like that, and. Okay. Fifth time's a charm, I guess. Now it's my turn, and uh, my car should make 
around 480 horsepower if the stock configuration is to be believed. I don't know if Aston Martin was lying to me or if I'm lying to myself. But here goes nothing. Sport mode engaged. We will put it into first gear and then start rolling. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on because this is gonna yell at me if I don't, because it thinks we're going somewhere. All right, it's gonna be loud. So I'll get it up to 3,000 RPM and then I'm gonna hit it. And go! Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Whew. <laughs> My trash control lights are on. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't hurt nothing. Hopefully I've made some power, fingers crossed. In fact, I did make some power and a lot of it, but just to make sure my first run wasn't a fluke, we gave it another go. Let's try this again. Into third. Into fourth. And here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it, let's do it. Woo! That is one heck of a noise. That felt really strong. Felt really good. Such a weird thing to have the car move around and make that much noise and you're not going anywhere and there's no sensation of acceleration. It's like, it's so unnerving. <sighs> so nervous. This is heavy. It's all carbon fiber. There's more carbon here than Freddy's whole car. Hey, you having fun? Well, I'm t checking this coolant. I think I'm gonna need that. Is that what, you, is that what you're doing? You're just, you're just sticking your finger in there? Well, it doesn't have a dipstick. How, do you, how else would you do it? Right, okay, yeah. You sounded real strong over there. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. I wanna know what this thing sounds like. I think after you get that bottle of water in there, your <laughs> coolant solution, we probably should take it on a test drive. It's, it's real low. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, just keep on filling it, yeah. So it's all right there. Oh, perfect, let's... Okay, I can't last much all longer. Right. <laughs> all right, all right, I got you. Thank you. Let it down. All right, uh, why don't you hop in? Let's test your handiwork. Go for a test drive. Nope, no pressure. I'm talking about your cooling system. All right, uh, test drive time. So... Do you know how to drive one of these? Yeah, the left pedal makes it smell funny, right? That's it. Okay, so... The four-wheel drive light is... Off! Oh. Completely not illuminated. So I've never actually driven one of these. It's not like it's a rare car, right? Uh, yeah, no, they're a dime a dozen. So let's floor it. Did that feel like 520 horsepower to you? Exactly like 520 horsepower. Okay, yeah. This thing needs turbos, man. Light on? The light is not on I because know. I fixed it. I you, fixed your car. You are the warranty I never knew I needed. So you're up to temperature, you're not overheating, you don't have any warning lights on. I think you should probably go on the dyno and make your 200 horsepower or whatever, <laughs> you know, this is gonna make. Is it gonna break? I don't know, let's see. Oh. Didn't break. <laughs> so we're good, right? The error lights were off, but dynos are not kind, so the nature of this challenge still felt like I was marching my sweet pig to its eventual slaughter. Whew, okay, well, here goes nothing. I, I can't say I'm optimistic about this in terms of the success rate as a percentage of horsepower or the car not breaking again. I, I mean, let's be honest, the flood has been the Tanya Harding to this car's Olympic hopes and dreams throughout this driving experience, and I, I, it just keeps breaking in new ways, which is kind of what you have to expect 
from a flood car, the gift that keeps on giving, but I suppose we'll see. He says he has to take it for a calibration roll, which sounds like the worst sushi ever. We're gonna add this to the list of new experiences for me. As I said, like, I, I don't do a lot of things that exotic cars are not great at, and going on dynamometers is one of those things. So it's supposed to feel kind of weird for an all-wheel drive car. It's a third gear. And then I just let it eat. Do I, am I supposed to hit the rev limiter? Well, you want to get up, uh, I have it set for 8,000. It's what it says. I mean, I got to like, on the on the tack, I got to 7,900. Okay, you can pull it a little further. Okay, okay, let's I'll, just, let's I'll just kill it. Down. All right, sweet idol, please, please idle. All right, I can't say I'm optimistic, but let's give it a shot. Uh, it's, it's really weird. Okay, second gear, third gear, and now I just let it eat. That sounded amazing. That may have sounded even better than my car. And no error lights. And it, well, that's even better. It didn't even blow up. Didn't catch on fire even the littlest bit. And it made 411 horsepower. Now, it, Lamborghini said it had 520. We're allowing for 20% drivetrain loss. And okay. so I am only missing five horsepower from 416. Where did, where did, did they go? go? They must have been some breed of horse that didn't make the arc. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, we are in a different metric here because yeah. we are rear wheel drive, not all wheel drive. So we were expecting 15% drivetrain loss from new. And my almost 20 year old Ferrari made 337 horsepower on the dyno, what? which is 15% dyno loss. So my Ferrari mm. is like brand new, if not better than new. <laughs> that sounds very, very hard to believe. It's, it's true, but th the numbers don't lie. It's not, true. I, I, I guess well done. I guess they don't. Thank you. Um, so my car was supposed to be making 565 horsepower at the crank from the factory, and on the dyno it made 456, which mm. is a 20% drivetrain loss. If we're going by the 15% drivetrain loss, that means that my car lost the most power. Wow. Yeah. So I'm curious. Do you think Aston Martin may have been exaggerating a little bit on their horsepower figures to sell cars? No. Dyno's broken. <laughs> Wait. That, that makes no sense because I was first, you were last, mm -hmm. you're in the middle. So yeah. either our cars are better than new, way better than new, or the dyno broke in the middle, but then fixed itself for Ed. Exactly, yeah. That, that make, it makes no sense, but yeah, that's I'm actually getting a text. <laughs> no. And it's from Auto Tempest. This is my first one of these. Okay, all right. Uh, now that you have shown whether or not your cars have all the power you thought was there, Let's see if the value you keep claiming is valid. Your next stop is Palm Beach, where you will each receive a trade-in appraisal. Okay. Authorized dealers do not like branded titles. No, they don't. And they do not like torn up tops and pimpage either, customization. Well, my car is the newest and uh, it hasn't had any branded titles. So uh, good luck, gentlemen. Oh boy. Let's oh. go find out. Nambos. Woo! We have gotten inside Mar-a-Lago. Hello. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good, good. Good. 
are you? I don't think we were supposed to be coming all the way in here, but he waved us in. <laughs> so, did we just make a mistake? Uh, kind of. Folks, you can't do this. Okay. You know, you guys, you know, they're taking the license plate on you when you're coming in. Oh, they are? It's a private property. You get arrested. Seriously? Yes. Yeah, Even though it's a club? Okay. It's a private club. What if my last name was, was Trump? If you like this episode, be sure to check out the first few episodes where we choose our cheap supercars and start putting them to the test. And try out our sponsor, Autotempest.com, to search all the top car listing sites at once for your next ride.